Hi Sagittarius darlings, this is your what the fuck reading 8th to the 13th of March. I nearly said January, I keep going back to January. What was it in January that we were all going through? Um, nearly everybody I've spoken to so far have been January this and January that. Um, yeah, so we're back to normal next week, folks. Um, I'm not sure I'm going to get the Law of Attraction ones up. I'm hoping to this weekend. I'm going to try and make it uh, my priority to get those done. Um, and I am sorry that they're going up so late. But I just could not bear the thought of uploading for like 25, 26 hours. It would have dri driven me up the wall. Um, but now we're back down to like an hour. It's, it's a piece of piece. So... Let's get on with what we are doing. So, my loving Sagis, what have you been up to? What you've been doing? Welcome to the channel. And let's get your energy card. If you can hear a little bit of whirring going on in the background, I'm really sorry. That is my dinner in my air fryer. I'm doing jacket potatoes and yes, my air, air fryer bakes as well as roasts and dehydrates and it does all these whizzy bloody things as well as air fry which is an absolute bonus love it i love it so these are being particularly tight today aren't they now do you want me to take those or those or what right i tell you what i am going to take those because they were teetering on the brink like oh should we shouldn't we is that the kind of mood you're in should we shouldn't we maybe maybe not so your first one out is number 21 first breath beginner's mind oh wow look at the planets it's a number three it's collaboration between you and the universe but something i've just heard something is going to take your breath away first breath beginner's mind there is something that you are going to, or you've been interested in, and when you start to dive into it a bit deeper, it is going to, it's going to mind blow you. It is. Um, it's out of this world. That's why they're showing the planets and the stars. It's out of this world. It could be that you're tapping into the matrix. You could be tapping into the quantum field maybe you're looking at quantum physics for the first time and looking at quantum healing um there is something please please let me know in the messages because that that is really specific really specific um you might have a beginner's mind and it may be your first breath but let me tell you once you get into it it's not going to be long before you're expert in it i have to say and if you are expert in it, it's going to be something that is side of that that is going to take your breath away. Honestly, it, there's a collaboration going on and it's, oh, I don't even know. There's a collaboration going on. There's a conjunction between the planets. So it could be astronomy. I don't get the feeling it's astrology, but astronomy definitely. I don't know what's happening with the planets. I don't know if there's any conjunctions or anything going on at the moment. Let me know in the box below if this is you. Gathering around. Let me just check the camera. The power of community. Oh, my lovelies. Oh, wow. Okay. Beginner's mind. Oh, well, have you found a new community to be part of? And have they kind of gathered around you? Are you feeling more at home where you are currently? There is something buzzing around you. Is there some discovery going on locally to you? Are you just finding your way? But it's I'm kind of getting that this is this is your main energy this is something else that's happening around you in conjunction or at the same time as this i'm not getting that this is the same thing i'm getting that this is two different things so you have got 26 
goes down to the number eight. Number eight is always communications, whether it's difficult or easy, or a combination of the both, it's communication. But I am getting, with a the power of community, I'm getting that your communications are strong. They're strong and they're building. So don't keep going with that because there is a gathering around you. Oh my God, look at this. 43, overflow, overwhelm and plenty. It's almost like you've entered into this community, opened up communications, and it is, it's bringing loads of stuff your way. I don't know if it... Because sevens for me are your blessings, options, and choices. So I don't know if you're getting lots of work or whether the work that you're doing is better paid where you are. But all of a sudden, you seem to be doing so much better. Um, and I'm kind of getting... That you're kind of thinking god where'd that come from how did that happen i've just had a similar experience i have to say so i'm really surprised it's come out in a sagittarian reading but it's kind of like it's it's almost like things were dried up for such a long time and all of a sudden this gathering around with the community these blessings these options and choices have come to you and it's quite overwhelming you're quite set aside by it all and it's kind of like well how did that happen it happened if you manifested it it happened if you was grateful for what was going on around you do you know what these are i'm glad i've got these out for you sag oh wow now i got this in another card reading i can't remember which was tidy house clarity and organization this is not a physical house this is your mental house this is your emotional house this is your spiritual house and what they're saying is if you've got clarity and organization which i put my hands up i am the most disorganized manifester i'm the most disorganized spiritual person i'm the most disorganized mentally and emotionally it's all over the fucking place so if you have got the opportunity if you have got the opportunity to have this tidy house, look at this lovely little door down here, isn't that cute? That is so cute. I want to live there. That is so nice. Sorry, if you've got the opportunity to have some clarity and organisation um, within yourself, let me tell you, it will transform your outer life as well it does it does and it's do you know i just got real chills about that because i'm like oh my god they've got something really wonderful happening around them because you have communications are good your options your choices are opening up and there's a new beginning there's an old cycle ending and this new beginning is starting and it is giving you the clarity that you need to start with but they're asking you to organize your thoughts and your feelings in order to carry that on but you've got that collaboration card as well i'm getting their separate energies separate energies those three are together and that one is on its own sag what a week what a week so my darlings Let's have a look at what started your what the fuck. Facing your fears and taking your fucking power back. And I don't know why I said it like that, because I don't normally. Is that how you're feeling, that you're finally there? You're finally like, I'm fucking taking my power back. I've had enough of this. Oh, really? Yeah, okay. So, my lovelies, you're moving your journey where the fuck you need to be. That's what you can do about the situation. What is out of your hands for this week? What is the universe doing to help you or is working with you on?
Well, nice. That is reconnecting to your true self. Let's get an outcome card for Sagittarius, please. Sagittarius place. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Okay, my darling, so we'll start your what the fuck for this week. You have got the king of the thames. Now he's a no-nonsense king. He doesn't take prisoners, he doesn't do he said, she said, he doesn't get into school, playground shit. Um he really likes to cut through to the very bottom of the problem um, to uncover what it is that you need to do to take steps to put things either right or in its right, rightful place. Now, with the King of Athamis, he is highly intelligent, highly intuitive, and he is at the top of his game. He is going to be either a solicitor, a doctor, an advocate, a lawyer... Um, a nurse, a social worker, an advocate, somebody who gives advice, all of that sort of stuff. I'm kind of getting that there may have been uh, the need to seek out some legal advice. Now, whether you did that officially or whether you reached out to somebody that you know is in the know, um, it doesn't matter. That person will be really in the know of what they do know. So there's been some advice given whether you've taken it i don't know but i do know straight after this advice is given you start feeling really triumphant about things this is my accolade card this is celebrating with friends family and community about something that you have achieved or that you have done that is going to ben benefit your friends family and community it's also my attraction card um so People's ears pick up when I say my attraction card. When you feel this good about something, when you feel like you have really achieved something and you are really um, putting yourself out there to um, celebrate and be grateful for what it is that you've achieved, your inner light changes, your aura changes, and it gets brighter and it becomes enticing intoxicating to other people people you don't know will start talking to you in the streets people who have been um acquaintances suddenly become friends friends suddenly become best buddies best buddies suddenly become something all of their own it is attraction on all levels so just know that if people start to buzz around you, that's the reason why. But it's literally after you've taken this advice. And I'm not saying that you're going to a solicitor or a doctor. I'm just saying you are getting advice from somebody who's in the know. And you couldn't have made this any more... Like I was saying about your power facing your fears and taking your power back and then the crone comes out she's strength in other cards she has walked this pathway a long time gathering knowledge and wisdom and I don't care how old you are um, you can be an 18 year old and have had 18 years of knowledge and wisdom that has been really relevant or you could be a 40 year old who has had the last 10 years that you picked up knowledge and wisdom I don't care how old you are um, you have walked this pathway a long time and it could be that it goes back to a previous lifetime as well your companion who walks beside you the lion he is the one he or she I should say he is the one that is going to be your guide your angel your ancestor something or certain entity that gives you help from beyond this realm 
they're the ones that give you the strength to continue this journey. The knowledge and the wisdom that you gather is yours to keep. But the strength and the power is offered to you by the lion. Walks beside you all the time. So facing your fears, I'm kind of getting that maybe some of you still don't get the point of your journey on the human experience. You haven't quite sussed it yet. But you know that you need to continue and that's you taking your power back. That's you drawing energy from your guides, your angels, your ancestors and taking your power back and going, yeah, okay, I haven't sussed it yet. Can't be that bloody far away. Honestly. And it may not become obvious to you until you're in your older years what it is that you need to do. And do you know, for a lot of us, it's just the awareness that there is something there. There is an awareness that you've got something to achieve. Um, and that means that you will be getting strength from other quarters to continue that journey to make you get to the point where you do become aware of what it is that you need to do in this lifetime. And you may feel that you've achieved what you came here to do. And then all of a sudden something will happen and it will make you question whether that was the real journey for you or whether there was something else that you needed to learn either instead of or as well. So your manifestation, your wish fulfillment, why it may be fucked, it's definitely not fucked on. You've got the world tree. Your roots run deep. You are unshakable in a storm. Um, night and day, the, the moon, like the night and day peeps through the trees. So you understand the, the process of day and night and how that kind of works for you. And I'm, I get a lot of people, especially Sagittarians, um, they actually work better in the night time than they do in the daytime. And that's only my experience. A lot of you out there might go, what a load of bullshit. But my experience of Sagittarians um, is that once they give it their all, they give it their all plus 200%. Um, but I do get that they do a lot better work later in the day into the night. And then they're kind of knackered in the morning. Um, and then you've got this snake shedding old skin at the bottom I'm kind of getting that your manifestation is your confidence it's your confidence if you if you shed old skin do you become more vulnerable well possibly but nobody got anywhere in the world without some level of vulnerability nobody met the right person nobody got the right job without that element of vulnerability about them you know when we go for interviews when we move into a new community when we get into a new relationship there is an element of vulnerability so if you are worried about shedding old skin and, and letting go of old ways of being because it may shake you a bit so what so what if the tree is shaking your roots are so deep you cannot be displaced you cannot be displaced so your manifestation, darling, so I'm kind of getting, is a question rather than something that you want to draw towards you. It's something that you don't want to lose. If it's yours in the first place, how can you lose it? If there's a new way of being that you want to be, and I hope I get the Law of Attraction readings done this um, weekend, because cleansing and clearing to make room for the new makes that shedding of old skin seamless so once you've made room for the new it just moves in it just moves in literally so lovely let's move on to your movement your journey where the fuck you need to be oh wow okay so you've got um the standing stone this is natural justice this is the number 11 
Um, number 11 in numerology is a prime number or soul number, whatever people want to call it. I call it a prime number. 11, 22, 33, 44. The higher you get, the higher to the divine you get. Number 11 is the teaching and learning number as far as I am concerned. And I'm getting that what you need to learn here is to let natural just unfold naturally. Don't try and push it. Don't try and deal with it. Just let the natural justice happen. The sun is shining on you. You are highly blessed. The stones are around you. You are highly protected. And you are as robust as these little daisies. We lock their heads off with bloody lawnmowers and they come back. You've got the scales of balance. Um, and they are in balance. You've got the harm none message. And then you have got the labyrinth, which is clear. Now, when I see the harm none message, I do go into one because I add to that harm none, but take no shit. It's as simple as that. Um, number 11 would also indicate that maybe, and you've got the king of the famous here, male or female, that there could be a Libra around you. Could be a Libra around you. So, movement and journey. Let the natural justice flow. Don't try and do it yourself. Let the universe do it. Page of Pentacles. You've got a well-equipped toolkit. You know your shit, whatever it is that you're doing. But there's something coming towards you, something that you are good at, something that you enjoy doing. And all of a sudden, you're adding a bit of magic to it. Something that you've learned that just adds to that toolkit, that just adds that extra element to what it is that you create. This is my apprenticeship card. So it is learning something new. It is adding that bit of magic that maybe you didn't know or believe that you had. Whatever it is, is adding to your toolkit. It is going to put you in good stead for the next phase of your life. This is a really good card to get. It is a beautiful card to get. It doesn't have to be formal learning. It can be completely informal learning. It can be self-taught. It can be just something somebody showed you how to do. And in comes the second page. So I'm going to guess that there are two youngsters around you. One could be an earth sign. One could be um, an air sign. One is going to teach you how to add this magic. And one of them is going to teach you how to draw energy down from the universe and use your knowledge and wisdom to allow the moon to illuminate for you either a pathway forward, a distortion, illusion, a truth, an untruth, any of those things. But drawing that energy down means you have the energy to deal with that situation. So your earth signs, the little page, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, the little Athami um, page is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And then you've got a Libra in the standing stone as well, which is a possibility. Now, when I give out star signs, I always end it by saying, I have to say it could be somebody that has just got air traits. If you've got somebody who gets lost in their thoughts, if you've got somebody who mulls things over and asks lots of questions and then that's not satisfactory because those questions are then brought more questions on. Um, somebody who you feel is a procrastinator, somebody who you feel can't make a decision, they are making a decision, but they want to make 100% certain that before they bring down their sword for the last time, that it is beneficial to them to do so, that they really mean that it's no longer... Um, of benefit to have whatever it is that they're questioning in their lives because they really mean it they really mean when they're cutting things out there is no coming back it's done it's severed so what can you do about this situation this is so good for you this really is because this is saying to you the knight of pentacles yes you are moving in the right direction 
finances, career, home life. You may feel that it's happening a little bit on the slow side, but what I'm going to say to you is they're saying slow down. Slow down, enjoy this journey, enjoy what it is that you're working towards, what it is that you are building for yourself and your family. Because right in behind that, you're on track to becoming the master craftsman. You know the value of good hard work. You know the value of putting your heart and soul into something to produce something that you just want to keep doing it. You love it so much. It's almost like you're not working because you really enjoy what you're doing. But your heart and soul is into it. You've been really successful with this. And you just you just want to keep going because it, to you it's not working. So whatever this is that you are moving towards, know that it is going to give you that essence of the master craftsman. That is so nice. Straight after the apprenticeship as well. Very nice indeed. So my Sagis, what's out of your hands? Now darlings, you've got this slow down, take your time because you are the master craftsman, okay? The universe is clearly saying to you, your sunshine days are here. But... I'm not getting that you're seeing them too clearly. And the universe is going, well, if you're not seeing them too clearly, I'm not going to let you have them all at once. I'm not going to let you have everything until you have sorted out all this other stuff. Because once you've sorted this out and you've slowed yourself down, you will see the sunshine for yourself. This is the best card in the deck. This is another cycle, cycling in and cycling out. And what it brings with you is massive growth. This is high days and holidays. This is the best summer's day you've ever had. Okay. And the reason that the universe is saying, well, you know, maybe, maybe not, is because you're still feeling like you're juggling. You're juggling your finances, your career, your home life, maybe a combination of all of those. But the sky is clearing and your sunshine is on its way. Just put your foot back down on the ground. Bring things back in towards you. If things seem, if your investments seem a long way apart, bring them back in towards you. If your career path seems too long, break it down into bite-sized pieces. If your home life seems to be suffering for whatever it is that you're doing to earn that buck or that pound um try to give even stevens don't try to do too much without giving that kind of energy back to your home life um, because that will make you juggle and they're clearly saying that you have got this sunshine this sunshine is just coming it's heading towards you the universe is working with you on this but they need you to realise these two middle bits, your journey and what you can do about the situation. And then once you're doing that bit properly, that bit, the juggling will stop because you're not going at a thousand miles an hour. You've slowed yourself down. You've realised that you are the master craftsman. You don't need to fucking juggle any longer what you need is high days and holidays so lovelies your what the, oh god i've lost my bloody thread yeah so how you're going to reconnect to your true self this is celebrations of a partnership the two chalices now the reason i use the word partnership is that the chalices are about love and emotions water letting things flow now, love to me is not just in love. Love can come in many different ways, shapes and forms. So you've got the parent and child. You've got the child, the two children, the siblings, the cousins, the friends. You have got business partners. You've got acquaintances. There's all this kind of different interactions that you've got going on that could be a celebration. 
So if you are inclined to have a celebration or invited to a celebration by somebody you really appreciate having in your family, do not be tempted to turn it down. Go and do it. Go and do it. Go and have some fun, Sagittarius. I'm kind of getting that life has got a little bit on the serious side and you're forgetting to let your hair down. So it's a celebration of partnership and it could be that you're partnering yourself in something. But go and celebrate, massively go and celebrate. Your outcome card is the Eight of Chalices. Darlings, what is wrong with you? Um, this card for me is about communication, but it's also for me this card that you can't make up your mind what it is that you want. You've got options. And while you've got options, you've not got the answer. Doesn't matter if it's a person, a project, a plan, an emotion, um, a thought, a feeling. It doesn't matter. What matters is you are scratching your chin going, I don't know what to do. Then don't do anything. Take a breath. Stop. Be still. Don't make a decision when you've got options. Wait until the answer glares at you in the face. Because let me tell you, there are many people out there that have gone for an option and gone, shit, I did the wrong thing. Wait. Take a breath. Take your time. And it will come to you. Your chalices are in the upright. They've got your back over this. They've got your back. But when you are looking at options and answers, I hate, hate it when people say, oh, I've got an option of two people. What's that all about? Well, you haven't because clearly if they're options, then neither of them are your answers. It's the same with the job. If you've got um, the offer of two jobs and both are equally as good as each other, both have got the good merits, bad merits, all the rest of it, what is the one thing that will make you jump? What is the one thing that will make your hair stand on end to make that option the answer? Do you see what I mean? So you need to stand still, take a breath, stop being so fucking confused, work out what it is that you want in the long term and then see what fits. But don't jump into something just because you've got the feeling that it could be better. You want, you want the definition that it is better. So, lovelies, straight from the Eight of Chalices, what's hidden from you, what is um, at the bottom of the deck, you've got the Nine of Chalices. Now, your chalices are in the upright. They've all got your back, but this time, you have got the fire of passion and desire behind you. You are completely doing this for yourself. You are looking into that crystal ball, and you are seeing your future with a lot more clarity than you have ever seen before. And I am not surprised after this reading. Oh, that flicked out. Oh, there's two there. Let's get me bins on because it's small writing and it's late. Retreat. Spoil yourself in the morning mist. Breathe in nature's sweet scents. I like that card. Hope. An idea like a single acorn can start a wondrous forest. Flow. Go with the flow as water trickles down a stream. Do not hurry. God, I just stuck my finger in that candle. Dozy mare. Adventure. Live wild and free, darling. So let's just ask the angels and the ancestors. There's some knowledge, wisdom and guidance. Oh, thank you. It came out really quick. For Sagittarius for the 8th to the 13th of March
Okay, what have we got? Hermit, retreat and recharge. What was I saying about stopping and having that breath? Absolutely. Um, yeah, if you meditate, go and do it. Go and do it. Now, keep in mind when I say about meditation, meditation does not have to be in this position. It doesn't. If you can do that, all well and good. I can't. I can't even get up off the floor anymore, let alone cross my legs and sit there like that. Meditation for me has to fit into the modern lifestyle. And what that means is, is that you can meditate any way that suits you, so long as it suits you, as long as you are getting something out of it. So if you want to put head banging music on and that does the trick for you, fantastic. If you want to use guided meditations, and I'm guilty of that because I love them. I love somebody else taking me under and I find that I go under a lot quicker. But the other way that I do is I go for a walk over at the Heath and I find myself losing myself and going under and just being one with nature for about 20 minutes, half an hour. Um, I have been known to get into a meditation and disappear for about two hours. Um, so, yeah, so taking myself under, unless I've got an immense amount of time, which I don't anymore. Um, yeah, it's difficult for me to, to, to do it just for myself. But know that if you need to retreat and recharge, there are different ways to doing it. One of my favourite meditations every morning, without a shadow of a doubt, is standing under that shower and just watching that water disappear. And I just allow all of my troubles and my woes to go down that drain hole. Off you go. Let's get rid of it. Clean and clear out of the way. Um, but it is a meditation for me, so that's how I do it. Magic Guardian, unlock the magic within. What was we saying about this bit of magic that you may not even be aware that you've got yet? It's on its way to you. It is, it's there. It's waiting for you. Oh, I do love this card. Broken Arrow, embrace the energy of peace. Wow. I'm kind of getting that by the end of this week that you're going to have this peaceful feeling that probably you've not had for a very long time. Lovelies, wherever you are in the world, please be safe and I will catch you in the next reading. Bye for now.